Hey, um, my name is Maria, and um, I'm originally from Duluth, Minnesota. Duluth in the house, oh yeah. <laughs> my um, my mother told me uh, before I went to my first girl boy party in the eighth grade. She said, Maria, remember what we talked about? Gonorrhea, syphilis, herpes, one, two. Watch the cold sores. Date rape is a lot more common than people think. You look so gorgeous. You were conceived in Groton, Connecticut in one night in a campsite. I am not saying you weren't planned. I'm just saying Bamfords get pregnant like falling off logs. Oh, Jenny's mom's here to pick you up. Will he have a good time? <laughs> I love my mom. Um, she's she's kind of religious, though, so she gets all mad at me because I don't know if I believe in God, because I don't like the idea of some touch by an angel angel sitting up there making decisions like, I'm going to put you in a paralyzing diving accident so you can inspire people with watercolors you paint with your feet. <laughs> I'm going to kill your mother so that you're more friendly at work. <laughs> I'm going to put you through a really crappy childhood so that when you're 42 and you've been through drug and alcohol rehab, you can give experience, strength, and hope to someone else who's been through a really crappy childhood that I put them in because I'm the Lord. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about getting breast implants because I'm a radical militant feminist. And um, I was trying to rationalize it by saying it's just like the jungle tribes woman who says to the National Geographic translator, I know there are going to be physical implications if I insert a nine and a half inch diameter clay lip plate into my mouth, but I'm doing this for me, and it also represents how many cattle my husband receives at the time of our engagement. <laughs> I used to work as a secretary, and I had this really creepy, creepy boss. And he would always come up to me and stuff, say stuff like, uh, I really like when you wear your hair down like that. Uh, is that a picture of your boyfriend? <laughs> Boy, if I were still his age, I'd give him a run for his money. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you come in the meeting and uh, take shorthand, uh, cheer up the guys with your pretty face. Come on, smile for me. <laughs> you look so much more beautiful when you smile. <laughs> like I go in his office and say stuff like, Hi, I really love the way your gray curly neck hair comes up <laughs> over the edge of your peach, poly weave, sweat stained sports shirt. <laughs> oh, don't make me jealous with those pictures of your fat, angry wife. <laughs> Why don't you come in my cubicle and tell me more about my partial dental benefits after 90 days? <laughs> come on, smile for me. The fact that I net $6.49 an hour to provide you with the sexual stimulation you're not man enough to get in your personal life is so much more apparent when you smile. <laughs> <laughs> Attempt, that's right, I've tempt. And um, I, I, I've decided that the worse the job is, the more excited the temporary representative is about it. Hello, Maria. This is Judy from TRC Staffing in Glendale. Good morning. I have an incredible opportunity here for you today. Five dollars an hour, alphanumerical filing in an industrial warehouse. <laughs> I thought of you first. I kept expecting it to get worse. Hello, Marie, this is Judy. Tijuana, Mexico, loading fruit trucks. You need to be there in a half hour. Corporate dress. <laughs> Hello, Maria, this is it, I have a feeling. Temptra Perm, Thailand. You are sold into prostitution, <laughs> but there is free parking. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Maria